lifestyle lovers welcome back to it's e lifestyle and if you are new here welcome my name is erica my channel is called it's e lifestyle and it is all about creating the lifestyle that you love okay lifestyle lovers so this is the start of a new vlog you have to bear with me because it's a lot going on in this vlog okay as you can see behind me i am awaiting someone to help me remove uh this table out of the way because we have a new table um the chairs are over there it is sold to someone so if you have been consistently watching my channel i think i shared with you guys that i purchased a new table or i either told you i purchased one or i was planning to purchase one um so the table will be here tomorrow evening currently i am sitting down doing homework because <laughs> i'm back in school um and also we will be traveling in this vlog or getting ready to travel so as i stated y'all bear with me it's a lot going on in this vlog and I'm, I'm 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 trying to trying to get it all done so um as you can see i changed my hair i have like a little short bob so this is the style that i selected um for the trip that i will be taking and i kind of i'll share share more about where i'm going and all that stuff either later in the vlog or once i get there um but i will be traveling in this vlog so i need to start packing because i'll be leaving in a couple of days um but the new table will be here tomorrow and i'll get to share that with you guys i have not figured out the plan for the chairs because most likely I am going to do the chairs that match with my bar stools, my counter stools that um, I got delivered a couple of months ago. These are from our house. You guys have seen that. If you haven't, I'll link the vlog below. But the counter stools are from our house. The chairs are really expensive. I was trying to contemplate whether I was even going to get the chairs or not um, because they are expensive. But you guys know. When it comes to my house, I'm extra. You know, I have learned, once I started kind of getting into interior design and stuff like that, I, I kind of learned that um, I would prefer to invest in my home one time. Well, I'm not gonna say one time, but I would prefer to invest to go ahead and spend the money and have stuff for a long time, opposed to continuing to buy furniture and things like that. So I'm just trying to be a little bit more strategic about the decisions that I make. Um, so you don't have to spend a lot of money in order for your home to look nice, but it's just some stuff that, you know, cause these are the performance fabric, the chairs are as well. So, um, which we didn't really sit at that table a lot, but they sit at these counter stools. I'm like sitting here now eating seafood. So, um, the performance fabric is pretty much kind of like stain resistant. When you get stains in it, you can wipe them off. My grandson has sat here and wasted his juice, ate his Cheetos and things like that. So it's important for me to especially have that type of uh, fabric here at the, the counter. But I'm rambling. Anyway, I'm back in school, y'all. I registered for a class, um, interior design class. So I am taking a class that I kind of registered for at the last minute. I was able to get in the class. So um, most of you guys know that I've talked about kind of starting my own business and this is kind of going to help me towards that. And currently I've been working with a local contractor here in Jacksonville. I don't want to talk too much about it because we haven't really started doing everything and I don't want to jinx it, but there may be some opportunities um, coming up you know, for me to do some things that I have been wanting to do for a long time. And I'm just trying to get my credentials in order. Not that I necessarily need the credentials, but it does, you know, it kind of helps me look, you know, it just, it, it helps me have those credentials in order, especially when opportunities start to open up. So I decided to go ahead and register for a class and finish out the certificate that I started probably about a year and a half ago. I took one class and I didn't take any more. Um, but I am starting back up. I plan to be done by the summer. Um, that way I can kind of have a certificate that I can kind of, you know, add to my credentials and add to my resume. 
So right now I'm doing homework. <laughs> So as I stated, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot going on in this vlog. Um, so yeah, we'll get an opportunity to kind of talk more and talk a little bit more about the trip. But I just wanted to go ahead and start the vlog. Say hey to you guys. And yeah, I'll probably either check back in with you guys once the table is gone because I need to kind of do some sweeping up. I did mop this week. I may get back in here and mop again. If I don't check back in with you guys later on tonight, then it'll be tomorrow when the table gets here. I'm so excited. You guys are gonna be so surprised when you see it um, because I don't think I shared it with you guys. So I'm excited about the table get, getting here. We're gonna have to work on the chairs. I need to have a plan for the chairs because the chairs are expensive. But I do plan to get them as well and then my washing machine is going crazy so i need a new washing machine i think the whole uh barrel of the washing machine is still washing but it is so loud when i wash a load of clothes so i may if i have time i may go look at some washing machine and dryers in this vlog because uh i think it's time for a new washing machine and those Front loaders are probably older than Mookie. I had them in my first home and I think I purchased them before I even had my son. So I have had 15 plus years of the washing machine and dryer. I can no longer get warranty on them. So I've got I've I've gotten my wear out of them. But it's time for some new ones. So if we don't if we don't shop for any when we before we leave when we definitely gonna have to shop for some when we get back i can't avoid it it was money i was not planning to spend but i need a washing machine and a dryer my birthday coming up so i might hmm put a bug in somebody else because i need my damn washing machine and a dryer <laughs> okay y'all so i'll check back in a little later <sighs> good morning lifestyle lovers it is the top of the morning I'm getting ready to get my day started. I have my laptop in front of me. We had daylight savings time this past weekend, so it has thrown me all the way off. I'm so tired right now. Um, I was up super late because on the last clip, I was skinning and grinning with you guys and telling you that, you know, I started back school. As I started to read through the materials, I had a quiz that was due last night as well that I was not aware of um, that covered probably two to three chapters that I had not read. So I was up late trying to get that done. I got 70 out of 80 points, which is pretty good because I had not read any of the material. Remind you, I just got into the class on Thursday. The class started on Monday. But I had some things that I had to do with the <clears throat> with the college before I could register and pay for the class. So it took a couple of days. They had to do some overrides and everything. And I had very little time to get it, get it done. But I got it done. Um, so I got up this morning. Once I got Mookie off, I went and got me some Starbucks. So my order is a... Grande five pump white mocha made with oat milk. That's what I drink. I have not even tasted it yet And I also stopped and I got um, an acai bowl from tropical cafe I had it for the first time probably about a week ago, and it's so good. I'm gonna show it to you guys um. So I, I just placed it in the freezer until I'm ready for it. But it is so good. So this is how it looks. So if you have not tried the acai bowl from Tropical Cafe, make sure you try it because it's, it's so good. So I had to get another one. So once I... <laughs> So once I finish my coffee, I'll go ahead and eat that for breakfast. The table is gone. So we have an empty area here. There is like a little spot from where the table was. 
So um, at some point in this video, I am going to sweep and mop up the floor before the, before the new table arrives. It'll be later on this evening. I just wanted to come on, tell you guys good morning. Um, and then we're gonna prepare the area for the new table. So excited um, to see it. It's probably about one inch smaller than the than my last table. Damn, I should have took a picture now that I'm thinking about it. I should have took a picture of the table being in the space so I, so I had a before and after picture and I forgot. But okay, lifestyle lovers. So um, I'm gonna get my work day started. I'll check back in with you guys later on this evening. I still didn't get my nails done, but at some point in this video, I'm gonna get them done. So see you guys later. Okay, lifestyle lovers. I wanted to show you guys a little hack because I know I do have, let me turn some more light on. Okay, is that better? I wanted to show you guys a hack because I do know that I have some new lifestyle lovers here. Um, so basically this is my sliding glass door and I know it kind of looks like a sliding glass door with grids in it, but this is actual this is actually electrical tape that um, I use to kind of make it appear that it's a sliding glass door with grids in it. But the only downside about it is you have to do it every couple of months because as you can see, the electrical tape it starts to kind of recede. So I'm going to take it down. Um, I'm gonna take it down and add some more. But uh, it sticks really well. I probably have to kind of get a razor blade. But this is perfect for rental friendly. This is a rental friendly upgrade. The only thing about it is when you get ready to move, you know, this electrical tape is almost like glue. So you're gonna have to really, really clean the sliding glass door in order to, to get it off. But um, I would love to have doors like this, but I, you know, I live in a community where we have an HOA, so it would have to be approved through the HOA. Anything that kinda affects the exterior of the home, although this is the inside, but you know, they like homes to kind of look cohesive because even in our, our HOA, you know, we can't have like, we have to have um, kind of like white blinds or white shutters because they want it to look, the neighborhood to look cohesive, which, which is a good thing. It, it kind of keeps people from doing whatever they want to do. But I wanted to kind of show some of my new lifestyle lovers that are not aware, this is actually electrical tape to kind of give the appearance of that. I have a sliding glass door that has the grid lines in it. It just makes it look look more modern. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of take it down and just kind of reapply the electrical tape. So once the table gets here, you know, it'll look good. Um, but I think it's a real, real cool way to upgrade your space. Uh, a roll of electrical tape is probably like a dollar, maybe like a dollar and 10 cent from Home Depot. So um, I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and take down the tape, clean the window, reapply it. That way it kind of looks um, clean and real good when the table gets here. But I wanted to kind of share that with my new lifestyle lovers, just in case you wanted to update your sliding glass door with electrical tape.
morning lifestyle lovers. So it's the top of the morning. I'm headed to work. It's probably like a few days later from the, from the last time that I spoke with you guys. Um, the table is here. However, <laughs> I'm not going to have time to put it together, y'all. And I wanted to end this vlog. I wanted to kind of assemble it. I have gotten, you know, offers to, to put it together, but, um, I kind of wanted to, I kind of want to do it myself. Y'all know how I am, but I'm not going to have time to do it because I'm running out of time. I told you guys earlier in the vlog that I was going to be traveling. Um, look at my suitcase, y'all. Nothing in the suitcase. I do have, I pulled like a few things out. Um, so I need to pack. Um, here's the table. Well, the boxes anyway. That is the base. We've got the base right here. And then the tabletop is right there. Um, so I only have one evening left. And I got too much to do. So I doubt if I get I get, get a chance to put it together. I probably should have took, taken up some of those options to put it together. But I didn't. Um, so I'm getting ready for work. Yesterday, I had to go into the office. So when I went in my closet to pull out, all of my corporate girlies know that you have to have a nice pair of black pumps for work. So when I went in my closet to pull out my black pumps, girl and guys or whoever's watching, they were all ate up. It looked like a dog had chewed up the heel of my pump. So the caps, you guys know the caps, you can get those replaced. The caps had fell out and the caps when once they fall out It's kind of like steel or something that kind of click clacks on the on the floor or on the ground Both of the caps had fell out, but the heel was ate up. So I went in dealers um, Like I said, it has been a few days later. So I did get my nails done They are I was having like uh, Regrets about getting such a bright blue but um they're on now but this is the uh this is the dress that i'm gonna wear on my trip for the occasion that um that i'm going so i was trying to kind of get blue nails from my dress it's from j lux label so you guys will get to see it but i don't have time to kind of show it to you now so i went in dillard's and i picked up a pair of black pumps um, they're made by Jessica Simpson this is how they look they were probably about how much were they they were I think they were $70 because it came up to 75 with tax and typically if you have Jessica Simpson shoes typically Jessica Simpson is uh, very comfortable just about every shoe that I have from her if not every shoe that I have from her are comfortable so I wear between a seven and a half, a seven and a seven and a half. So this is a seven. I tried on the seven and a half and it was like, you could kind of see the room. So I just went, went down to a seven and most likely they're gonna stretch. Now I'm gonna tell you when I look for work shoes like this, typically I'll go into Ross because I'll find something like this in Ross for probably about 30 to $40. But I did not have time um, to go to Ross. Well, I didn't go to Ross. I knew I could go in because, you know, sometimes you have to go to like a couple of a couple of different um, Ross in order to kind of find like a good pair of pumps. But I knew that I could go in dealers, get me a nice, decent pair of pumps. So that's what I did. So I'm getting ready to put my pumps on. I have a meeting this morning, so I need to get in so I can go ahead and prep for um, my meeting. And I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead, put my pumps on. I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing. And then we're going to get out the door. And either you guys will be packing with me. If we have some time, I might put the table together, y'all. But I seriously, seriously doubt it. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, pack up to get ready to leave. And then I'll check back in with you guys before I walk out the door. Because I want to show you my dress. So I'll be right back. Okay, lifestyle lovers, so quickly what I'm wearing, this is a dress from Express. I absolutely love this dress. I've been wanting it for a while. So when I went to dealers to pick up my pumps, I grabbed it. 
um, but it's kind of it's like a thin sweater material striped dress fits really well so and it pairs really good with my pumps so this is what I'm wearing to work um, I do have my black blazer in the car so um, if I need my blazer I'll go ahead and put it on but this is the work look for today. This is how it looks in the back. It looks really, really good. I like it. Nice and classy and it pairs well with my hair. Um, as I stated, this is a size small. I am a true small now. I used to be between like a small and a medium, um, just depending on, you know, the particular outfit or whatever. But I'm a true small because the dress that I ordered from J Love's label is a small as well and it fits perfectly so okay lifestyle lovers so i'm headed out the door i'll check in with you guys once i get home from work because i want like i want to have like a little chit chat um before i close this vlog out especially um since we're probably not going to put the table up which was going to be like the highlight of the vlog maybe 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 we still will but let me get out the door so see you guys later lifestyle lovers <laughs> so I've been in Dallas for my battery is about to go dead but I've been in Dallas for two days and I haven't had time to kind of get on camera and talk to you guys I came here because my girlfriend and her husband they have the grand opening of their new restaurant and daiquiri bar here in Dallas so if you are in the Dallas Fort Worth Plano McKinney area I will um link the address below because i definitely want you to check it out and support their business but i'm gonna show you guys quick quickly what i'm wearing and i'm gonna end the vlog because i really haven't picked up the camera i've just been enjoying my time here most of you if you've been consistently watching my channel you know i typically go to dallas at least once a year okay lifestyle lovers so i had to change my battery out but i want to show you quickly what i'm wearing and then i'm going to go ahead and close the vlog out um, but this is a dress from J Lux label. It is the, the dress that you can wrap like multiple, multiple times in the blue. And then I'm going to be pairing them with, um, like a nude. This is the heel that I'm going to be wearing. And then for my bag, I'm just going to do like my Tory Burch new bag. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here, lifestyle lovers. If I take a, I know I'm gonna take a full body pic, so I'll just um, kind of put it side by side so you guys can see it. But yeah, I'm on a trip to Dallas. I'll be here for another two days. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog. But as always, lifestyle lovers, have a great week, a great weekend. Whenever you're watching this, I love you guys. When we get back home, we'll be doing some home decor, getting the table together and all of that. But I'm sweating. I got my makeup um, professionally done as well. So I just went for like something very simple, very natural. You guys know I like natural, natural looks. So I think she did a good job. But yeah, so I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Bye.